Okay guys, this is a nice quick tu tutorial on how to get Gminer working with unminable.com. Um, one of the reasons I recommend up unminable um, as a pool to use uh, is you get a large selection of coins in which you can be paid out in uh, and the payout rates um, are done with very small amounts without fees, which is good and is better than a lot of other places that you'll see, especially the ones that are trying to aim it to that intro market uh, where you'll mine a lot of long time just to overcome the uh, the withdrawal fees, so to speak. All right, so to get straight into this, first thing you're gonna wanna do is download uh, Gminer. Um, I'll put the link down below, but you wanna make sure you're getting the repository directly from their GitHub repository, uh, not anywhere else. The moment you start getting it from somewhere else, then you're taking a risk. So just come down, uh, download the, uh, the Windows zip, if, Windows is what you're using, uh, and then extract it. Uh, from there, you want to um, uh, just take note that there's a whole bunch of bat files uh, inside of it. Each one of those is a um, example configuration. Uh, you don't want to run any of these directly because they've already got mining addresses in there, um, which is great for the person who, um, you know, the developers of the software, because you'll just start mining for them, which is clearly not what you want to do. All right, so what you wanna do, and I'll just show you the steps in how to do it so that it's nice and easy for you, and then I'll show you the one I've already created. So create yourself a new text document, uh, call it start, minor, or whatever you want, uh, and make sure you change the .txt at the end to .bat. Uh, Windows will then say, are you sure you wanna change the file type? Yep, you absolutely do. Now, once you've got that, just come across, right click and hit edit, uh, to open it up to be able to edit it and put your startup and um, variables, startup script and variables into it. Now I've created one a little bit earlier just to save time. Uh, the actual script that you'll be using inside of here, um, I'll put down below um, in the uh, the description of the video. So it's nice and easy. All you need to do is cut and paste into it. Now note. The first bit of this code, which is particularly important for you, is the coin. Uh, the next bit is your wallet address. The next bit is your worker ID, and you must have a unique worker ID for each worker that's mining on um, this pool. Um, so if you've got, say, for example, two or three computers, have them different. And then lastly is my referral code. Uh, the beauty of the referral system in this uh, and through Unminable is that if you have a referral code at the end here, it'll cut down your um, mining fees from 1% down to 0.75 of a percent. Um, and it also sends back a small amount to me as well, which allows me to keep making these videos. Now note, don't use this address here. This is just a dummy wallet address I've got and created just purely for uh, this video. So don't mind to that address. All right, so once you've done that, you wanna close out of it and save this bat file or whichever one you've worked on uh, and then run it. This is what it's gonna look like once it starts running. And this so far, everything is absolutely rosy and it's exactly what I'd expect and what I'd be wanting to see. Uh, noting that it's picked up my graphics card, I've got this one's a, uh, TI, um, a GTX uh, 1080 Ti with 11 gig of RAM. Uh, you require over four gig of video RAM to be able to mine the Ethereum hash. Uh, if you've got less, then you'll have to switch to classic uh, the classic Ethereum, uh, which is not quite as profitable. Profitable. All right, so at the moment, this is exactly what we want to be seeing, this blue box here. Uh, this one tells us, once again, what our GPU is, um, some general data about it, the speed, which is important as well, uh, and this relates directly back to our payout rates. And then this next bit is one of the other bits that you need to pay a bit of attention to, which is the shares. At the moment, we've just started the miner and there's zero shares on here. So that's not what, that's not unexpected for us at this point. Uh, but what you'll see in a couple of minutes is you should see a green two line pop up, which will say shares accepted. The moment that that happens, that means everything is absolutely G to G and working uh, and you'll get a value here in the shares per minute. Um, and the moment you've got that, then everything's great. The pool's actually going to you know, start accepting stuff and you're gonna start getting crypto coins paid back. 
So let's just go across to the website. So it's taking note, at the moment, mine's running at 27 uh, mega hash, which isn't too bad given I'm video recording at the same time. So come across here and to check everything's working, chuck your address into this box here on their, one of their main pages. So just before you do that, sorry, you need to select the coin. So I've already selected WinCoin, chuck this in here and you'll note a little graph will appear down here and you'll show everything's good. And note, this is, you know, from very, very little time um, because this is, like I said, a dummy account. So this is showing everything's great. Now, as I said, if you wanna get an idea of how much you're going to get paid out in your coin of choice, and I, like once again, I'm choosing win. I'll explain later why I picked this one. But anyway, so, Select your coin, come in here and you'll see the different stuff that you can be potentially mining against. So like I said, if you're GPU mining, which this video is for, um, you're gonna be looking at the Ethereum hash and on this page, you'll notice a little box comes up here. So inside here, just chuck your actual uh, hashing power into it and then down here, it'll give you this is how much at the current rates and exchange rates of both Ethereum versus the coin you're mining. This is how much you can expect to get per day. Um, and it gives you a little bit of a, you know, bit of information as to what's going down with everything. All right, so like I said, everything in here is, go uh, is going well. Everything's running properly. Uh, we're still waiting. Um, we're still waiting for that specific um, first share to come up, which is why, uh, and there we go. So that's exactly what you want to see to say everything is absolutely working perfectly. And that is, you know, share verified. And now when the next blue box comes up, one shares, shares per minute down here. So this will tell us every, you know, four minutes roughly, we're going to get an extra share, which is us actually being paid out by the pool. Okay. Now guys, one of the reasons, and one of the last things I'll, I guess I'll explain on this one, um, is why I use, um, why I'm mining into Win, And the reason is at the moment it's low cost. Um, it's based, like it's linked to a gambling website um, and has potential to grow. Uh, and, and as such, and with a platform like Unminable, you should be selecting coins that have potential to grow. Because if you look at the, uh, this down here, at the current rates, this equates to about $3.50 a day. When you take power off the top of that, um, you're looking, you know, one to $2-ish per day, um, which you guys go, well, that's not very much. However, if you pick a coin, which say in six months time, doubles, triples, goes by 10 more, then you can very easily turn your $2 per day into $20 per day. And this is the beauty of doing something like this. Mine it, put it aside, you know, watch the market and then pick the right points to sell it out and convert it across. Uh, and you have a lot more potential to make a lot of stuff. Guys, one last thing I'll close out with, uh, if you watch this far in the video as it is, just remember that there's always a risk to mining or to uh, your uh, computer equipment when you're mining. Um, make sure you watch the temperatures. Um, you don't want rapid increase and decrease in temperatures. That's bad for electrical equipment. Uh, but as long as you understand those things, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, if you do, if there's setup errors, if it's not running properly, first thing, come to the um, unminable page. They've got a support page. Check that out. If you're still having issues, if that's still not ha uh, helping, uh, drop a comment below or send us an email and I'll see what I can do to help you. Anyway, guys, I hope this video is, you know, scratches the itch for those that needed it. Um, but, you know, if you liked it, like and subscribe. And as always, guys, have yourselves an absolutely amazing day.